Yo, what's up gamers? Korinx here with another video about the Cycle Frontier because it's only two more days until the next closed beta will drop. And in this video, I want to share with you guys a couple of tips that I wish I would have known before I started playing the game so that you can have an easier start. If you want to know how to get into this closed beta, however, I would strongly recommend that you check out my previous video that I made where I explain how to get into it. I will leave a link right up top right now. And if you enjoy the channel, like always, guys, every click helps out. So please click on that like button, click on that subscribe button, turn on notifications, all of the stuff. You know it from everyone else's YouTube videos as well. But now let's get straight into these tips, shall we? Well, the first tip we want to get into, guys, is that each of the factions sells different guns and consumables, but one of them is extra important in the early game, and that is going to be Osiris, the green faction, because they have the strong stim. Pretty early on in the game, you only need a couple of levels and you need to do a couple of quests and you will unlock the strong healing stim. That will be a big step forwards because the strong healing stim will drastically increase your chances in PvP combat. The other important early item is the scrapper from the Korla faction, which is the low level SMG, because it's also a very decent starter gun. A second tip I want to share with you guys is don't be too afraid to mod your guns. The basic mods that you can get from all of the vendors are very inexpensive. Put everything on your gun of choice to lower the recoil because the money that you invest into that is definitely going to be worth it to increase your chance in winning a gunfight versus the biggest danger on the planet, which is basically other players. The next tip is going to be about early encounters with aliens in this game. A lot of players are going to get in here and they're going to think, oh, AI doesn't matter. AI is easy. Let me just quickly kill this AI and, and be done with it. But yeah, while that works for striders and that works for rattlers, early on with the basic guns, leave Jeff alone. I would strongly recommend that if you're playing solo, get at least a gun around the level of a flechette to be able to take on a Jeff solo. If you're in group, you might be able to do it a little bit easier, but early on, leave Jeff alone, because if you take him off, he might actually bring out the steel chair and we're all doomed if he does. All right, now selling loot. This is done at the faction vendors and selling items will also give you XP towards leveling up the factions. So keep that in mind when you're selling your stuff. Like I mentioned earlier, it might be a good idea to early on go sell your stuff that you want to get rid of to the Osiris vendor because that will level up your Osiris faction quicker and will get you access to those strong stims faster. The next tip is going to be about the laser drill because did you know that the laser drill is actually the only other way to get off the planet besides using your regular extraction points? When the laser drill is called down to drill and do its thing, it'll be doing that for somewhere between 9 to 10 minutes. And then after that, it will also be recalled back to the station. And any players that are currently on the laser drill at that point will be transported back and will be extracted from the planet. This is important to know so that you don't accidentally call down a laser drill, get all of the loot and then need to haul your ass all the way across the map to the other side. You can just stay on the laser drill and get extracted back to the space station. However, of course, everyone on the map will know where you are because the laser drill is really slow to come down and it makes a lot of noise. So everybody knows where you are, but you can get out that way. The choice is yours to make and the risk is yours to take. The next tip in this video is going to be about the storm. You may have already noticed that from time to time a storm will break out, but did you know that it also has effects on certain items? For example, instead of a regular spinal base, a strider in a storm could drop a charged spinal base and some of the plants could suddenly appear as charged versions of themselves. It's important to know that this will not affect spawns that are already there before the storm starts, but only when the storm starts, a bunch of fresh spawns will appear and they will be the charged version of that plant. My next tip is going to be about looting. Search every jacket you can find and make sure that in all of the inhabited areas or like bunker areas or like building areas, check out all the surfaces in anything that kind of looks like an office because those are the spots where you will find key cards and those key cards will give you access to a bunch of locked locations all over the map, which can contain some more valuable loot. Moving into our next tip, do not neglect your personal quarters. You want to make sure that you upgrade these accordingly because this will be the only way to get more inventory space on the space station so that you can keep putting all your loot away. 
It will also be the only place where you can increase the size of your safe container space and it will also provide you with passive income through the Kmart generator and a daily drop of loot. All of these things definitely make it worth it to check out your personal quarters and to keep upgrading stuff in there as well. And then for the last tip of this video, guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tease because my last tip is going to be about farming K marks efficiently, aka farming money efficiently in the cycle frontier. But if you want to find out how that works, you need to subscribe to the channel because that is exactly what my next video is going to be about, which will release later this week. That'll be it for today's video, guys. I hope these couple of tips will help you out when the beta launches. And um, don't forget to check out the previous video to find out how you can get access to this beautiful beta. And uh, I hope I'll see you guys soon on Fortuna 3. Bye-bye.